for things to cool down after the arrest of the prime culprit in Tupac's case, but it looks like the fun has only just begun because there has been a jaw-dropping twist. The manhunt for the one responsible for Tupac's death is back on, and guess who's feeling threatened? None other than P. Diddy himself. Can you believe it? Diddy. The music mogul extraordinaire, the man behind Bad Boy Records, the puff daddy of Mo Money Mo Problems fame, he's back in the spotlight because someone decided to open their mouths and spit out all the secrets about his alleged connection to the Tupac case. Only this time, it isn't a hollow accusation. The man responsible for the shootout himself is pointing fingers at Diddy. But wait, let's break it down for you. Dwayne Davis, or as he's known in the streets, Keefe D has been arrested as the one responsible for Tupac's death which occurred back in 1996. We are here today to announce the arrest of 60-year-old Dwayne Keith Davis. In court, prosecutor Mark Diagiacomo described Davis, a former leader of the Southside Compton Crips street gang, as the on-ground, on-site commander who ordered the death of Shakur. Dwayne Davis was the shot caller for this group of individuals that committed this crime, and he orchestrated the plan that was carried out. Now here comes the plot twist. Keefe D starts singing a different tune. He drops hints about Diddy's involvement, claiming that a million-dollar bounty was put on Tupac and Sue Knight, and who do they say ordered it? None other than P. Diddy himself. In other words, Diddley isn't the alleged trigger puller, but he's the one who mastermended the whole shebang. Davis had reportedly told investigators years prior to his arrest that, Combs took me downstairs and he's like, man, I want to get rid of them dudes. I was like, we'll wipe their ass out quick. It's nothing. We wanted a million, Davis said in a taped confession, according to LA Weekly. Davis had been a long known suspect in the case and publicly admitted his role in the killing in interviews ahead of his 2019 tell-all memoir, Compton Street Legend. There's one thing that's for sure when living that gangster lifestyle, he wrote. You already know that the stuff you put out is going to come back. You never know how or when, but there's never a doubt that it's coming. Why go down alone? He could see his end coming and thought, why should the real sinner be spared? He revealed that he first informed authorities back in 2010 about his role in the whole fiasco. Apparently, he was riding with his nephew Orlando on the unfortunate day, and he was the one to hand over the weapon to Orlando to pull the trigger. Yet, it took the authorities a whole decade to take action, even when they had substantial proof. And now, when he claims that Diddy was the mastermind, there is silence from the authorities yet again. Now, let's take a moment to appreciate the irony here. Diddy might find himself dancing to a very different beat, one played by the legal system in case Keefe decides to take things further. That entails a life behind bars, or possibly worse, capital punishment, in addition to all the dodging he has been doing for the past years is proven somehow. So Diddy feels threatened, obviously. The sudden blast from the past has unsettled him, and he is in full defense mode. In an almost useless attempt to clear the ire, he calls Davis' claim pure fiction and completely ridiculous, which is even more shady because there have been many claims in the past by rap artists and other relevant celebrities, including his ex-bodyguard, who have pointed fingers at Diddy being the culprit. Yet Diddy remained tight-lipped, and a single statement from Keefe D has him out of his wits. Why did he feel the need to explain? Are we coming too close to finding out the full truth? The fact that Tupac's family has stepped forward with their own set of allegations against Diddy makes everything worse. Tupac's stepsister recently exclaimed that a single arrest will not do justice to Tupac, because the mastermind is still out on the streets. She stated, There have been multiple hands involved, and there remains so much surrounding the life and death of my brother Tupac and our Shakur family overall. We are seeking real justice on all fronts. We can all agree that things are closing in on Diddy. Too bad for Diddy. The legal system is already at cross ends with him. Yes. Former LAPD detective Greg Kading has unleashed a similar revelation in his book M-Rap. Kading too claims that Puff Daddy might be linked to the shocking assassination of Tupac. Kading was the assigned detective on Biggie's death case back in 2000. I got involved or assigned to Biggie Smalls' murder in 2006, so that was nine years after he had been killed. It was considered a cold case. But he has surprisingly taken a keen interest in Tupac's case. This is because he thinks that the two deaths are correlated. Biggie was reportedly ordered to meet a similar fate by the former music mogul Suga Knight, who was allegedly targeted by Combs, but Tupac got the hit at the end. There had been conflicts brewing for almost two years, with confrontations and a war of words and just disrespecting. 
Kading boldly suggests that the LAPD is sitting on a treasure trove of tapes and documents that could blow the lid off the mystery surrounding Tupac's death and put Diddy behind bars. But there's a catch. Well, for Sean Combs, I mean, what are his choices, really? I mean, is he going to come out and confess to his association with the killers of Tupac Shakur? I mean, that would be uh, professional suicide. The LAPD hasn't arrested anyone in connection to these claims in over a decade and a half, which has caused the victim's family a lot of pain. Moprim Shakur, Shakur's stepbrother, said the charging of Davis was bittersweet. But why did it take so long? We have been through decades of pain, he told CNN. They have known about this guy who'd been running his mouth for years. So why now? For us, this is not over. We want to know why and if there were any accomplices. One possible explanation for the delayed reopening of the case could be Davis's ever-evolving story. Now that the authorities have him in a chokehold, Davis spilled the beans. Please note that the LAPD is building a case against him for PCP trafficking, and his recorded confession grants him immunity, but only if his statements hold true. But the delay is not substantial. The fact that Davis has finally spoken the truth is, and Kading agrees. He stated, if his intention was to just get away with it, so to speak, Kading told HuffPost, it would have been very easy for him to not include all the details that he did. Now Davis is already behind bars, so Diddy can't really do much. But what about Detective Kading? His recent claims put him in direct danger, but it seems like he is not the least bit scared of Diddy or any defamation lawsuits that he may file. According to him, I don't think any rational person looks forward to getting sued, Kading said, laughing. But if I did, I would not shy away from it. I am very, very confident in the case. I'm confident in the evidence, but that still doesn't explain why there was a near 27-year delay in bringing justice to Tupac. Fans and followers who have been following Tupac's case closely think it is Diddy's influence that has allowed him to come so far without getting caught. One person commented, this should have been solved and dealt with years ago. I am so sick of all the corruption. Just because you've got the money shouldn't give you a pass ever. Some people also think Diddy's time is up. You can only run for so long thinking and hoping you'll never get caught. But sooner or later, everything comes out, said someone. But here is the thing. Diddley surely can't be all that powerful to hold off the authorities for nearly two decades, right? Well, Tupac's stepbrother thinks it has more to do with slacking off on the part of the authorities than Diddy's influence, which is even more disappointing. I feel law, law enforcement hasn't cared for a long time. Moprim Shakur further told the Associated Press over Zoom from his home in Los Angeles. Young black men often deal with delayed justice because we're often viewed as the criminals. So justice has been delayed for quite some time. In spite of all the eyes, all the attention, despite the celebrity of my brother. It's already been 27 years and then the legal process, so-called wheels of justice, moves historically slow. So now when the authorities are on the right track, what's the takeaway from all this? It seems like finally things are moving in the right direction. Tupac's case, long considered a cold one, is suddenly heating up with each passing day. But that is not good news for Diddy. He is getting restless as more knots are smoothing out, and it won't be long before the whole picture is out for the world to see. Do you feel like Puffy owe you? Yeah, he should. I think he should look out. He look out for everybody. Plus, with Keefe D's arrest, the dominoes might just start falling, and who knows where they'll land. That's it for today. See you at the next one. Goodbye.